depending on your security profile, uh, your Windows user logon, uh, you may need to run MAP as administrator the first time to register it, uh, which could require your IT department. Although um, in in many cases it um, that's not necessarily required. And so go ahead and run MAP. The first time that you run MAP, it's going to um, pop up with the instructions for registration. And so you'll notice that uh, you have the option to, if you have an internet connection, you'll have the options to do online registration. And it's going to provide you this registration number. And so it says use the registration number below to obtain your unlock key. This is going to um, give you permanent access to the software. When you first install it, you'll have a 31-day uh, trial, which is essentially the full version of the software for 31 days. But I'm going to copy this key and we'll do the online registration in this case. It brings up a web form for you to fill out similar to the one uh, used when downloading the software. And it actually pre-populated that for me, which is handy. We're in electronics and we're just going to fill out some our company information real quick. And scroll down. Again, the email address is the most important thing. That's where it will email you the unlock key to enter in this field. All right. And so for security here, we're going to follow its instructions to type in ECD mole and then submit registration number. Now that is essentially having our system send you the corresponding registration number that, that links up to your key. And so if you uh, pop back over to your email, you'll notice a 16 digit registration number and you can simply copy that right out of your email, paste it right into the unlock key field, and click the register button. And so uh, MAP software is now registered and you'll have permanent access on this PC. A quick caveat at the end there is that each PC uh, generates its own unique registration number and will require its own unique unlock key. But once you get it installed on there, you'll have uh, permanent access on that machine.